Chapter 11 Work and Energy Observe Students, in the last chapter we have learned about force and types of forces. In order to apply force, energy is required. Now just observe these pictures. What actions are seen in the pictures? At same time, see whether the objects have changed their original position. In all the above pictures, we can see that the position of some of the objects has changed. That is, these objects are displaced. When an object is displaced by applying a force on it, work is said to be done. Is that clear? Let me repeat. When an object is displaced by applying a force on it, work is said to be done. Work. Students, try this activity. Tie a string to an empty box as shown in this picture. Pull the box through a distance of 10 meters along a straight line. Now fill the same box with 20 books. Pull the box again through a distance of 10 meters in a straight line. What was your experience this time? Now pull this loaded box through a straight distance of 20 meters. When did you feel that more work was done? More work is done for the same displacement when more force is applied to do the work. If the same force is applied for more displacement, more work is done by the force. Use your brain power. 1. In the above activity, which are the different forces acting on the box? Answer. The forces acting on the box are gravitational force, frictional force and muscular force. 2. Is a displacement possible without a force? Answer. No, a displacement is not possible without a force. 3. If a force is applied with both the hands on a wall, will there be a displacement? Answer. No, there will be no displacement. 4. If no displacement occurs on applying a force, what does it indicate? Answer. If no displacement occurs on applying a force, then it indicates that no work is done. Let's try this. First take a pulley. Fix it at a height. Draw a string over the pulley. Tie a load of 2 kilograms at one end. Hold the other end of the string and pull it downwards to lift the load. First up to a height of 1 meter and then up to a height of 4 meters. When is more work done? When the applied force is the same, more work is done when there is greater displacement. In other words, for measuring the work, both the force and the displacement must be considered. The relationship between work and energy. Students, see this picture. The boy in the picture has applied a force to the toy car. Work has been done because the force applied to the car has caused displacement. In other words, transformation of the boy's energy into work has taken place through the applied force. Run around the ground with your friends. Can your friends run as many rounds as you can? Do all the friends have the same capacity for running? Your friends will complete either more or less rounds than the number of rounds you complete. The number of rounds will not be the same. Some will get tired on completing two rounds, while others will get tired on completing three or four rounds. That is to say, each one's capacity to complete rounds is not the same. Right? You can complete only as many rounds as you have the capacity for. The capacity to do work is called energy. Use your brain power. 1. Why do you get hungry after physical exercise? Answer. Due to exercising, there is movement of muscles and bones. This work done by the body muscles requires energy. This energy is supplied by the food that we consume. Thus, when there is more demand for energy, we feel more hungry. 
Hence, after physical exercise, we feel hungry. 2. From where does our body get energy? Answer. Our body gets energy through the food that we consume. 3. Why do we get tired? Answer. Due to excessive work, the stored energy in the body becomes low, hence we get tired. Do you know? The units of work and energy are the same. Work and energy are both measured in the unit named Joule in SI, that is System International Units. Forms of Energy Students, observe these pictures carefully. Here you can see that various types of energy are being used. For example, light energy, mechanical energy, heat energy, chemical energy, etc. Now let's study all these types of energy in detail. Mechanical energy. Students, try to see what happens as a result of the action in the picture. The rubber band is released after stretching it. It comes back to the original shape. Similarly, a stone is held in the rubber of a catapult. The rubber is stretched and released. It comes back to the original state and the stone flies off. Have you observed that when the spring of a toy is wound and released, the toy starts playing? Yes, you might even have toys like that. Similarly, when water stored at a height is made to fall on a wheel, the wheel starts rotating. In each of these actions, displacement takes place, which means that work is done. From where is the energy obtained to do this work? The energy which is stored in an object due to a specific state or position of that object is called potential energy.